Okay, here we are. Just going to do a test at the moment. Uh, I'm going to put the light on. That's the light on in the back. Now, as you can see, pitch black. Absolutely pitch black. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a test. There's my shed. I'm just going to do a test now. Show you what my night vision camera is like. Without the IR illuminator. Um, I'm going to use it without a light whatsoever. Then I'm also going to use it with my LED Ray 4 just to show you the effectiveness. Now, right down the end down there, it's 55 yards to the end of the garden, so I'll, uh, I'll be able to show you exactly what it's like up to 55 yards without an IR illuminator. I've also put, you can't see it now, but I've also put a Magpie decoy on top of the daughter's trampoline post. Uh, so I'll show you in a second, cheers. Okay, you can't see anything at all. Uh, as you can see, then you can see that's the numbers on me. That's the number on the washing machine. Uh, can't see anything at all there. It's absolutely pitch black. Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. I'm going to come down to my screen. Uh, so I can actually physically show you the screen. Then well, well, it's going to pick it up. Now I'm actually pointing at. This is pitch black, that's with no lighting aid whatsoever. Um, absolutely pitch black. Uh, you can just about make out the magpie decoy that's on the top of the post, which is uh, at 35 yards. I'm just going to see if I can make a difference with the light. Uh, there is, that's with the, that's with the, the uh, lead rate for, uh, this camera's not, not the best in the world for picking up light, but that's the magpie on the top of the thing, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna adjust this so, I'm pointing down to now that 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 uh, you can see now you can see all the trees everything. Um, that's actually in the light. And I'm just going to adjust this so I can I can actually see the thing at the bottom there. Uh, it's not producing as well on the camera and film with it, but okay. There's with the that's with the G GL4 light on. And you can see that. There we go. That's a 55 yards away. Yeah, as you can see the gun. You see how clear that is. This is with my homemade camera setup. I'm just going to put the red filter on, show you what that's like. I'll just turn that light off. Now, although I turn the light off, uh, I can actually still see. See that drum, which is 50. 50, 50 plus yards away and you just about make that out I can actually see it better on the screen than you can on this now I'm going to put the red filter on ok there's the red filter I don't know if you can see that yeah, can you see it moving around now that's the red filter on at 55 yards um, and believe me it's it is a lot better on the screen and what you're actually visualising now. Um, I'm just going to do slight adjustments onto the camera. It does have a brightness control. Didn't get anything better on that. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay. I don't know whether you can see that as well as I can, but. On the screen, it's just trying to get it to to show there it is. Let me get that image. Okay, I've actually got the gun mounted on my thigh. Uh, well, I just okay. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. That's perfect for shooting 55 yards. Um, it's not shown as well on this camera because there's no night vision on this camera. That's that one, red light. 
It's crystal clear on the screen, the LCD screen on the gun. And I'll now put it on with the white. Um, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. That's with the white light. Um, uh, that's it. That's it. That's better. There we go. That's with my white light. For 55 yards. Um, it is crystal clear. I don't know if you can see that moving. It is crystal clear. But uh, as I say, that's the first test I've done. You can actually shade just how dark that is. Pitch black. Uh, the next test I'll be doing will be with the IR illuminator. See how we get on with that. Thanks a lot. Okay, here we are. Um, just had a little bit of a fiddle with the light balance and stuff. Uh, it's very hard to really get this camera to focus, you know, with it being a daytime camera. Yeah, what I want to do, I want to stick the leather A4 on now. Uh, putting down the back, it's a 55 yards the drum and stuff, so you should. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that on me. There we are. That's with the red, that's with the red filter on. Um, it's not showing up as good on here, but on the actual uh, on the actual LCD screen, the picture is superb, well ample for shooting rabbits. That's at 55 yards. The, uh, the old drum, sorry, is 53 yards, not 55. Just bear with me. I'll just try the white light. Uh, as you can see, it is pitch black. Just bear with me. I'm now going to put the white light on and show you what the white light's 53 yards. Uh, there we go. That's the white light as you can see me moving it about. Um, although it's. It, that's better. Although it looks a lot different on the thing, uh, the camera. The actual picture on the LCD screen is crystal clear. Now I've found the focal point there, I'll go back to the red light. Let me show you what the red light's like. There we are. We? Look at that. The camera just won't pick it up. There we go. That's, that's with the red light, as you can see. Uh, even with the red light, it's crystal clear on the LCD screen. There we go. Um, I'm well impressed with that. Considering it's not my eye illuminated, it's just my red light. Yeah, I'm keeping on, be alright. Well, that's with the red light, and that's at 53 yards to that yellow drum. Or to that the drum that's there. That, that's with the red light. Yeah, and that's with my homemade night vision setup. Gonna do the IR illuminator next. Thanks a lot.